Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. We are jumping in again and this time we are going to go as another one of the Epiphany characters and I'm not sure which one this time around. Uh, we've been playing the Tarnished Lost. It's been a lot of fun, but we've got other characters to play. I mean, we could do Eden. Eden's one that's kind of interesting or we could do Keeper. Keeper's pretty fun. Let, let's, let's give Keeper a go. I haven't played as Tarnished Keeper in quite some time. This guy, he has basically money as his health. We got the Curse of Midas right off the bat here. Interesting. Let's have a look, look see what this does. Plus three golden hearts, 10% chance to get golden pickups. When you lose a golden heart, turn everything into gold and apply Midas Touch to all enemies in the room. Curse effect, 100% chance to get golden pickups. All food related items turn into coins if you try to pick them up. The curse can be removed with black candle. Okay, this seems like it could be kind of good. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> okay, I forgot that we can't pick up items anyways. So, the main way this guy gets items, from what I remember, is with a turndown service. The good old turndown. Basically, um, we use turndown. Oh, I need to try and pick up money where I can. We use turndown and it'll create shops in rooms for us. Okay, this is... These enemies are very inconvenient for getting money. Um, yeah, we can use turn down to create uh, shops in various rooms. It'll tell us uh, what we'll get from each room. Dude, these rooms are awful for getting money. <laughs> There's just so much fire. Uh, can, as you can see at the minute, it costs six in this room to create one. Uh, but we're not going to do it in this room here. Oh, man. These rooms are awful for grabbing the money. Awful, awful, awful. God damn. Ooh, now that would have been good. <laughs> okay. Majorly forgetting how to play this guy. Majorly forgetting how to play this guy, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> it's it's a bit new to me. I've only played this guy like once before. Our only way of getting items is through turndown. So, for example, if we create a shop in this room here, uh, we can do that and it'll spawn that. And then we can use it again to upgrade the shop and one more time to upgrade the shop again. And we get this, um, bombs get a toxic aura, kind of interesting. Unfortunately, it seems like we need to go even higher to get items. I don't remember the best way to get items as this character, to be honest. I think it's going to be a little tricky. I think we want to be creating shops in item rooms, preferably. Uh, but we're going to need to buy keys here. Can you get to a point where I can kill you, please? Thank you. Good, good, good. As for the question of the day today... Ooh, a luck penny, very nice. Yeah, as for the question of the day today, let's, let's grab... Do you know what? Do you know what? Let, let's let's restart. Let's restart, actually, because I think I think I kind of played that pretty poorly, and I think I can do better. I think I want to be creating all my stuff in the item room and hoping for the best that way. Um, but yeah, as for the question of the day today, this is a really weird one. But what's your favorite element? Like, are you an earth, wind, or fire type of person? <laughs> I don't know why, but that's that. That just seems like it could be an interesting question. It's weird, but it seems like it could be interesting. Yes, yeah, so we want to be creating turn down in here as we get items. There you go. So this time we get the cursed flame, which I actually think is very, very, very good. So we'll try and grab that when we can. Um, but yeah, being able to grab items like that is going to be good. I'm not particularly enthused about not getting hit here, but oh my god, he's done it. He has done it. Good, good, good. Okay, we can go back and get that now. But yeah, everything is going to turn to money. We really want to be utilizing shops, secret rooms, and item rooms to gain the best advantage here. But this is a pretty good item for us already. Um, we gain a bunch, and I mean a bunch of stats for uh, for picking up curses. Which is risky, but good. I mean, the stats alone are going to be very, very nice. I mean, the fire rate we've gained here is very, very good. The damage we've gained is very good. Extension card is just going to end up being more money. That's good for us. We can probably go do another turn down on the on this floor on the item room and see what we end up getting. I can't remember what we get for turn downing in shops. To be on uh, in shops, sorry, in uh, in boss rooms, we could probably get some good stuff out of that. And as you can see as well, gaining more money bolsters our HP. So the more money we have, the more hits we can survive. So it's it's not always going to be the um, the correct decision to use all of our money um, on buying stuff. We sometimes want to save a little bit for. Uh, for our HP, essentially. Ooh, see that? That that was really, really stupid. I lost quite a lot of money there. And I didn't even kill the guy I might have touched. Lost quite a lot of money there. I've got to be very, very careful. I think it's over 20 is when I um when I get my second sort of HP bit. All these enemies that have fire everywhere 
are a real nuisance, you know. Be nice if the fire had just disappeared once they died. Okay, cool. So let's let's try and go back to the item room and see if we can get another item out of this. Um, I think we might have Curse of the Blind currently. Oh no, we have Curse of Blight. That's okay, because we at least see an outline of the items. So how, how exactly does this work then? Okay, I can just buy these, cool. We got the printer, I have no idea what that does. Um, printer. Use an active item while holding a card infuses the active item ability into your card. Ooh, interesting. So, using an active item while holding a card. Okay, so basically I can get extra uses of my active item by sort of stapling it onto a card. And then it'll use my active item alongside using the card, which is kind of interesting. So, we'll pop this again here and we get two more items. I don't know which either of these are. Let's go for this one. Oh, wait. Do I not have enough? I thought I had enough. Oh, it costs more each time you use it, I see. My bad. My bad. I thought it was going to be six again, so I thought I'd have enough, but... Not quite. Okay, well, let's, let's go for now, and uh, we'll see if we can get enough money to make that work. We're up to 12 already, so we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. But yeah, I think I, I was talking yesterday about how, like, YouTube's been getting me down a little bit, but I think I think I've found a, a, a solution, and it's trying not to care. <laughs> no, but also, I, I think I'm going to sort of jig up the way that I record my videos basically to make it more enjoyable for myself. So what I think I'm going to do from now on is normally I try and have a little bit of a backlog and I record all of my videos as and when I need them and upload them as and when needed. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do instead now is I think I'm going to... Okay, let's try and not get hit here because this guy can do some mighty good damage if he hits us. Uh, what I think I'm going to try and do now instead is I think I'm going to... Um, Let's just try and kill this boss first. One second. Okay. Whoa. That was insane. Okay. Um, what I think I'm going to do instead is I think I'm going to try and record like a week's worth of videos and upload them all in like one day and then just like schedule them so they upload throughout the week. Not all uploaded in one day, but schedule them so they upload throughout the week. Um, and that way I can just kind of like m be sort of happy and content that I've got things going out at the right time and stuff. And I think I'm going to, like, try and do a bit more Nuclear Throne and stuff alongside that. So we get number one, which wouldn't have expected that to be number one, but I'm pretty happy with that, actually. And we got Fruitcake. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> What's going on with my character when I'm looking down there? Okay. We got some good stuff going on right now. We got some good stuff going on right now. I like this. All right. What was that other shop item? Blank card, maybe? No, it's Pace of Player. Pace of Player is probably pretty good for us right now. <laughs> To be honest, we don't really want to be buying keys, so pay to play seems like it works pretty darn well for us. Okay. Let's go to the next floor. Unfortunately, in some positions, we don't have a head, but <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. Right. Down to the next floor. So far, liking this character. I mean, we got a bit of a weird bug with the uh, the boss there. We do lose some stats here for um, having lost our... Uh, what's it called? Okay, there, there it is. We got him back. We got him back. Good, good, good. We get plus 1.67 fire rate. That's nuts. Also getting a good amount of range. So, one thing that I'm interested in here is... Let me do a... Okay, I can't do an air wasp. I need to buy cards. I can't really get them any other way. But... Cards seem like they'll be really, really, really good with the setup. So, I'm very intrigued to... Uh, See what we can do with that. Who's left? Who's left? Who's left? Who's left? Hello. Little old you. Okay, good, good, good. Right, let's try and find our item room before we use turn down. We've got plenty of money to work with on this floor, so... Yeah, there you go. See, there's another card, but I can't get that card. Bit of a shame. What is that? God damn, we got so much money to work with right now. And we'll grab that. Yeah, more money there. And we can do that. Book of Sin, not really that good for us here. Turn down again. We'll definitely take time itself. That's pretty good. I'll even do one more, you know. Dunce Cap? Interesting. I'm going to gamble. I'm going to gamble. 
Just because I've got, like, fruitcake and stuff, I think it's great. Oh, it only does triple shot either side, though, rather than quad shot like it was going to. That's a, that's a really, really good item room there. We used a ton of money, but we got two uh, potentially pretty good items, especially time itself. That one will be very, very good. Yeah, I'm thinking with fruitcake, it'll end up being pretty good over all this. I don't know what that fire is. That's a, that's a weird looking fire. Also, you get spectral on top of everything as well. I like the black hole to suck all the coins up. That's rather nice. Yeah, this character's really cool. Also, we've uh, we've managed to get our head back. Oh my god. That was nuts. <laughs> we just gained so much there. Holy. Okay. Go in here. The overcharge is not really what we're looking for here, but we can do this and get, ooh, electric dice, which I don't even know if it's currently working, but hopefully it is. Last time um, I used this, it wasn't working, but we'll figure it out. Cool, I can pop that again. Bit of luck, lovely. Oh, didn't mean to do that. My bad. <laughs> My bad. I tried to use the luck thing. Forgot that I don't actually gain that. I wonder what's going to be the best way for us to get cards, then. Anyways, we've got our boss here. We should be able to demolish the boss. Yeah, whatever you're spawning, my guy. Not going to do a great job of killing me, I don't think. Okay, you, you, are you the one with a ton of dashes or one dash? One dash, okay. Okay, nice and easy. We get Binky in here, which isn't ideal. Uh, I don't know how the devil deal works with this guy. But we'll, I guess we'll go and figure it out. So we'll have a little look-see. Okay, so these are just like here. But I can do turn down to unfortunately not get much, actually. <laughs> um... Okay, we're not going to get much out of this. I think we just go. Unfortunately, I probably should have gone for a boss item there, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I really want to get away of, of getting some regular cards, because I think this this active item could be really good. We'll see if an electric dice ends up actually working. I know that it was bugged before. We'll see if it's been fixed. I don't think it has as of yet. As I said, we'll, we'll sort of figure it out together. Oh, hello. I did not expect you to do that, good sir. Could you get off of my fucking coins, please? <laughs> Thank you. I missed out on quite a bit of money there. Actually using with shot to hit two different enemies at once there. Yeah, we're getting a lot of enemies that make it really difficult to pick up the coin. Because they're just spewing shit everywhere. It's not what we want to see. We're up to 15 already though, that's good. We've almost got a charge on our active. I think until we get to use our active, we're a bit weak, to be honest, on most floors. Our stats aren't the best. Once we get once we get one use of our active going, we're in a, a much better spot. Holy lovely stuff. Okay. Um, right, so we'll pop this. Gain a curse. If you want to stop chasing me, bud, that'd be uh most lovely. Get him out of here. Come on, item room. Don't don't leave us hanging for too long. But yeah, we did only gain one curse there, so that electric dice thing. It's annoying because electric dice is like one of my favorite items, but I think it is currently bugged. Um What what did I just take damage to then? Was there creep on the floor that I just didn't see or something? I lost a lot of money there. Oh my god. I've almost killed myself here. I've got no money left. That was very bad, but luckily we get quite a lot of money back here. But yeah, that was very, very bad. I had so much money, and I just kind of whiffed it. Yeah, I, th I think I was just kind of like stood on top of some creep there. I don't really know what happened. Either way, not not my best performance. Not my best performance. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting to see you. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Item room, I'm still waiting on you. Yeah, this fruitcake edition has been very, very good. As I said, I really want to make printer work, though. Printer seems like it could be super, super cool for us. Ha! 
How am I not hitting you? There you go. Item room. Do not elude me, please. I like um, having all these portals that are sucking in all the coins for us. That's nice. Um, Not much to see there, unfortunately. I guess I could go for an upgrade on that. Um, That seems pretty damn worth it. And honestly, so does that. Ah, oh, we've one more penny. Are you kidding me? Item room might not even be the be the right shout here, to be fair. We'll make our way over to it anyways, but it seems like it's going to be the last stop for us, unfortunately. We did get a planetarium. That's something I wasn't expecting. Unfortunately, pretty rough room here. Yeah, I had a feeling I was going to get hit there. Makes things a little more tricky for us. I just lost all my money. And I say, a rough room here indeed. Good, good. So, what, what's actually in here right now? Yeah, I had a feeling that would be the case. It's going to cost us ten just to make something in here. Ugh. That's rough. That's rough, man. I'm going to need, like, all of these coins. Especially that golden penny, which didn't end up being very good at all, but hey-ho. Dime's pretty nice. Quickly check this out. What the hell's going on with all these guys? Right, planetarium I think is first. Port of call here. We've got plenty of money to work with for the planetarium. Uh, we we are unfortunately buying unknown items, so we could get some crap here, but we got Juno, that's good. Um we don't actually get to know what Juno does apparently, but we got Juno. We like it. Um I've got to make sure we have five left for the trinket, but I think I'm gonna pop up in here and see what I can get. Really? That's a bit annoying. Okay. I'm gonna have to come back for the uh for the trinket by the looks of it. If I need to. I can't remember what Juno does. Is Juno the one where it like respawns enemies as my friends and it can be really crazy? Because if it is, then we're sitting pretty, because that's a really good item. I'm a little bit worried going to this boss with my current health though, but look at look at my style right now. Look at my character. Very intriguing character, this one. Oh god. Oh my lord. I had a holy mantle there, apparently. That's pretty useful, considering. Lovely stuff. Sometimes it loads from the boss. Sometimes it's like nothing. At least we got enough to get a devil deal, potentially, here. Ah, oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We should go back and buy that trinket, really. We've got plenty of money here. Ah, we get Holy Mantle because we're in boss fights and we've got the blanket. I forgot we had the blanket, I'll be honest. Do you know what would be really nice right about now? A little bit of extra speed. But yeah, sort of what I was speaking about earlier in terms of YouTube uploads is... um. Because now I'm doing a bit less Isaac, like, every other day, what I'm going to try and do is backlog, like, a good amount of Isaac, like, maybe six or so episodes. Thank you. Backlog, like, six or so episodes. Um, we've got an item there as well. Should we buy that? Yeah. Um, backlog six or so episodes, and then backlog Nuclear Throne as well, and then it'll be... Isaac, Nuclear Throne, Isaac, Nuclear Throne, Isaac, Nuclear Throne. And then on some some of the days a week, maybe like three days a week, four days a week, there'll be an additional video on top of those, um, like Hades 2, which I'm going to continue, or some other new stuff. I think Hades 2 is going to be the main one I continue, even if it doesn't get a, a good amount of viewership, which is, it'll be a shame if it doesn't, but even if it doesn't, um, I'm enjoying it, I'm really enjoying playing it, and I don't, like, care that much if it doesn't get super well received. Okay, Juno is the one where we get everything as friendlies. That's good, because this one can be very, 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 very strong. 
Ow, I did not expect that. Lost a good bit of money there. But yeah, this one can go a bit wild. We've seen it happen in the past. By the way, um, ooh, what we got going on here? Um, by the way, I really think, okay, very bad, unfortunately. Uh, ooh, both of those are very good, and that's a golden one as well. Um, you see how these, um, familiar enemies, like the friendly enemies, are, uh, like, purple and sort of see-through? That's how all charmed enemies should look. It makes it way more obvious it's a charmed enemy. That's how all charmed enemies should look. It's so much better. Okay. Try and get enough money to get uh, the golden toxic shock. Although I don't believe having golden toxic shock will do pretty much anything for us. Oh, damn it, I missed that. Okay. Be nice if we could get up to 30 and just buy both items rather than going back twice, but we'll see. Pretty sent for that there. Oh, I turned those enemies into poop and they didn't drop coins. It's a bit mean. I'm going to try my best to not get hit while I grab everything here. I'm getting a lot of them healing pennies. Not that I can do anything with that here. Okay, I did get 30 here, so I need to go back now before I get hit. I'm liking Hive Mind we've got going on right now. But yeah, the Peppermint and stuff is going to be really good here. So let's let's make our way back. We don't have any bombs to get into secret rooms. We have to buy bombs. We can't... I, do, I like this character. The fact that it's, it's an interesting play on the Keeper. Having to buy literally everything. It's like... It, it's like... First Keeper is like you've got health... As a hit, your HP is money. The next one is like, your HP is money and you've got to buy your items. And this one is, your HP is money and you have to buy literally everything. Golden Toxic Shock. Our third item is one cent. I keep forgetting about that. But anyways, this is some good stuff. I wonder which way the Peppermint Leaf will come out. Will it go straight or will it go diagonal? I think it'll go straight. Not entirely sure, though. Not entirely sure. But yeah, Hades is definitely one of those games that I'm just going to record and play because I enjoy it, even if it's not got the, the, the largest viewership, because I am thoroughly enjoying that game. I mean, if you if you aren't playing it, if you have, haven't like picked it up yet, highly, 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 highly suggest it. Like, I, 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 I don't know if I could recommend any game more. It's that good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually incredible. <laughs> Right. Okay, we are shooting a lot of fires, and we are shooting them diagonally. But we're shooting a lot. So in this scenario here, we do turn down, and then, yeah, that becomes a Wandara. Good, good, good. Right, next floor. Just one little dollar to get that. Right, I'm just going to have to pause one second. I've got a message. One second. Okay, cool. It's just about a delivery that I've got arriving shortly for work. I've got a busy old week coming up with work. Oh, dude, when I freeze enemies, they don't drop coins. Good. Box boy. We'll take you out pretty swiftly. Good amount of money there. Ooh, hello. Wasn't expecting one of you. Friendly fly spiders no longer attack um, autonomous, autonomously and can deal damage multiple times. Fire launch themselves in the direction you're firing. Nah, honestly, I'd, I'd much rather them just do their thing and have double damage. Even though that does sound interesting. I'd much rather not have to worry about them. Oh god, that guy charged me and I didn't expect it. Hello, shop. I think Steam Sale would be pretty good for us. Although, 
it didn't seem to do anything. Okay, there you go. Once I refresh up. Whoa! Battery bombs? I did not mean to pick that up. What we got going on here? Stock um, fluctuation. Item prices will fluctuate between zero and two times the regular price. Touching an item when not having enough money will make it the item disappear. Seems interesting. Okay. Didn't think they'd fluctuate at quite that speed, so that's not ideal. <laughs> Didn't think they'd fluctuate at quite that speed. I thought it'd be kind of like they'd go up and then down and then up and then down, but no, they just kind of go randomly everywhere. So that might not have been the best item for us to buy, especially now we've got Steam Sale. I might have just kind of put myself in a bit of a hole there. What in the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> What was that explosion? Where the fuck did that come from? Does anyone know what the hell that was? I am very perplexed. I don't know what the hell that was. Or why. Or anything. I am overall extremely confused. Overall extremely confused. Dude, also, why are we firing so many fires? Well, our luck is not that high, but Peppermint is just going off. So, I seem to have a dude that's just generating me money. One of my guys from Juno. Ow, as if that hit me, God damn it. You jumped into the pit right there. It should at least give me the money back if I smash them. Hey, he's even got a purple brimstone beam. Beautiful. My god, I'm freezing too many enemies. It's sad. Very, very sad. Look at that. Just froze like the whole room. It's a, a waste of goddamn pennies. I need my money. Where's that item room anyways? This is getting frustrating. A lot going on in this room too. That's just actual money. We like that. Spiders, big no thank you. Toxic Shock is also proving to be kind of difficult, because it's killing enemies before I get the chance. Meaning that they automatically spew out their coins before I can get close to them. <laughs> this, this is just hectic as fuck. I mean, Juno is really making things even more hectic. Oh, uh, thank you for not making me go through that room. Thank you for that room just being a dead end. You keep a brimstone in, boy. Have fun with it. Good. Item room. How dare you? How dare you not be this way? Bunch of coins I can't get to. Right. Back we go, because we can get a lot out of the item room here. I mean, I say, I say that. The fluctuating stock thing might potentially make it a lot, lot worse for... Not spending a ton of money here, so I guess we'll see. I'm probably going to end up overspending most of the time, which is really not what I was anticipating to do, so my bad, I guess. Oh, that battery turned into coins that disappeared, apparently. Okay. Should also get that trinket as well, I guess. Right. Item room. Why do you have to be the last place that I visit? Am I going to be cheeky like that? The amount of goddamn fires we view out is insane. Cool. Okay. Right. Turnover. 
infestation profit. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Profit. 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 <laughs> I kind of like this. That's Space Jam, isn't it? I'd actually need that. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I like the little profit thing. That's funny. But we got some good stuff out of that, I think. Some half decent stuff. I don't know how good red cap's going to be for us, but we'll see. The map is goddamn huge now. It's kind of in the way. It's covering up my items. Right. Boss time it is. I mean, the flies, honestly, should do a very good job of taking care of him. Really hoping we can get that speed up soon, though. Our speed... I mean, we've got a tiny bit of speed up from our, uh, from our active item, but not really enough to satisfy me yet. I want to be at like 1.3, sort of. Oh, dude. The damage we're outputting now is very, very good. This is what we like to call a very beautiful run. Got another devil deal over here. Not what I was hoping for there. Good old double troll. I'm exactly what I was hoping for. Profit. I... Epic fail? I don't even know what happened there. Did I buy something? Apparently I did. <clears throat> okay. Can I can I leave, please? Thank you. Devil right. Away I go. <laughs> this has been a weird one. We got two epic fails there without even knowing what was going on. Apparently we have a theme now. How? I don't understand how we have a theme. Can, can you not? What is going on right now? What? What item do I have that's making my tears all fiery? And giving me a theme and all sorts. What's going on here? Where's my fruitcake at? I'm so confused. I'm guessing it's to do with the uh, devil thing I used. Can you die already, good sir? About time you perished. That does damage to me. That's some real big BS game and you know it. You know it. How dare you. Yeah, can this, this item please go away? I'm going to end up hurting myself with it. Oh, that was an enemy as well. Lovely. Thank you. Free trial was not a good free trial. I was not a fan of the things it was trialing on me. The amount of blue fires in the room. It's both beautiful and scary. I'm just freezing everything is the only problem. I'm not getting my money. I mean, at least it's making the rooms pretty quick. I love the fact that we've got a side fly at the moment as well. Oh, for f liberty fuck's sake. I'm getting hit by a lot of bullshit right now. Got an arcade in here. That could be potentially good. Ah, you can actually create... I just wanted to see what sort of stuff I could create. Unfortunately, no items. I was really hoping you could get some items out of that, but... Apparently not. We can make the money back up. Do not worry. Do not fret. 
Especially when this guy's here. To give us more money. Yeah, and a luck penny as well. That only means more white fires. Or blue fires, whatever you call them. Okay, we're back up to 30 cent already. So I wasn't expecting to get my money back quite that quick. But, as I said, I don't mind when it happens. I do not mind at all. I keep not finding my item room for ages, though. <laughs> item room seems to be the last thing on our list of, of rooms to see. I prefer it to be one of the first. Okay, there you go. <gasps> Golden Penny. Golden Pennies haven't been great to us thus far. I've had one good one. It's better than nothing. Profit, baby. What's this do? Heart pickers have a chance to be replaced by currently earned heart type. I uh, don't know if that will do anything. What's this do? Kind of interesting. I think I'm going to go for the defibs. Oh, I fucking hit it at the wrong time. How dare you. Okay. This seems interesting. The item's flickering. Basically, it means all items are a choice between two. That seems pretty goddamn useful for us. Okay. We shall keep moving on. We've managed to garner quite a good... Uh, number of items with this character that thus far we've not really lost out on too much which I, I always feel like with this with characters like this You've got the potential of losing out on a lot because you've not got traditional item rooms But there's also the potential that you'll do even better and get even more so Oh no, we no longer have mapping Anyway Stuff. I'm not going to pay too much attention to the money here. Oh, there's an item here. Not that I can actually pick it up, but there is an item in here. But at least there's a good amount of money. Who's left? Who's here still belching? Why aren't my flies going for him? Alright, we've got one of our own. That's why I can hear him making noise still. Another golden penny. Okay, that was a good golden penny. That wasn't half bad at all. Another one of these rooms. Um, what does the steam sale do? Eh, that doesn't really do much for us. I guess I'll take the jawbone. Wasn't the best deal ever. What? I was really surprised boss isn't here. Very much expecting this to be boss. Kind of lost on where to go now. I was saying about not caring about not having mapping, but now I do care. One second, I need to sneeze. I swear, whenever I'm recording, I never normally sneeze that much unless I'm ill. But when I'm recording, it's like, you need to sneeze so badly. Oh, please don't tell me we've crashed. I've done this whole floor. Oh, this game's so tiring at the moment. Right, one minute. One minute.
Okay, so I've caught up um, to where we were. I apologize if there's a bit of a black screen there. I just, the recording just didn't pause. But anyways, I can't use turn down in here anymore. Why? Why? I don't get it. Why can't I use turn down in the item room anymore? So I'm not going to get that trinket back or anything. I don't remember what it was called. What's 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 wrong with the game? Why, why is it not letting me turn down in the item room? Either way. I, I'm going to see what happens if I do turn down in the boss trap room here. I'm intrigued. Not a whole lot, unfortunately. That was... Not really what I was looking for. I should really do some secret room, uh, some secret room fishing, but honestly, I've been pretty happy with where we are right now. But yeah, please, for the love of all that is holy, for the love of every single human being that has ever played the Binding of Isaac modded, someone use Repentagon or do something to make the game save more than once every floor. It's infuriating when the game crashes and it's like, right, you're back to the very start of the floor. Why? Like, can't it save every couple of rooms or something? Or like every time? I don't know. Just, it'd be, it, it's something that like about Isaac that has frustrated me for so long. It just, oh, also this room's no longer a tainted treasure room as well. Weird. Yeah, something that's frustrated me for such a long time about Isaac. It's just like, okay, we don't need to pick up money anymore. We're, we're good on that front. Like, the, when, when you're playing modded, there's a non-zero chance that it crashes. It's not super common, but it's it's not, especially when you're playing modded characters, it's not uncommon. It does happen. And it's so frustrating that it's just like, right, back to the very start of this floor. And you could be at the very, you could be on the last boss and it puts you right to the end. It's like ridiculous. And that's a different item this time now as well. It messed everything up. It messed everything up. Also, where the hell am I meant to be going here? Okay, now I no longer have mapping again. We've got 99 cent at the minute, so let's try and utilize that. Oh my god, that was a lot of money. Not that I needed it. That was a lot of money. Oh, come on, don't play this game with me, Mum. You know you're dead. Did not get a devil deal, but we can still do a shop in here. Um, I guess I'll grab that. Really? It's all it's all going to be HP, is it? Can't do it again. Damn it. That was kind of worthless. Didn't get a lot out of that. Got like five different fucking HP items. Yeah, I don't know where best to use turn down now. I'm guessing in this floor it's going to be secret rooms. But yeah, we missed out on a good few items there and some in interesting synergies. Oh, what the hell hit me then? I don't even know. I'm not even quite too sure what hit me there. But yeah, if I can find my secret rooms, then I'll try and go for that. I've got really tiny tears now. I've just realized. Really uber baby tiny tears. But yeah, d using regular rooms, like non-item room rooms, to create shops isn't really that valuable. Because if you do that, um, you're going to get mainly consumables rather than items. Okay, good. I don't have to worry too much about picking up money here. I'm loving our sci-fly. Get income the hands. Shouldn't be a problem. There's so many of them. Did that one not die? That one seriously didn't die. Okay. Oh, uh, they respawned, I see. It doesn't matter, we can leave. We have a lot going on in terms of Juno as well, this floor. Juno's doing some stuff. Is this secret room? It is. Hazard. Ah, it's back. <laughs> the item's back. The trinket. Unfortunately, though, it's on the floor, so I can't actually grab it. Hand, can you stop aiming for me, please? It's making me uneasy. What's this? 
When you enter a room summon a bat familiar, they will attack an enemy that approaches you, taking damage summons extra bats. Let's give it a go, shall we? No extra item that time. Cost us 25 for our next one. God damn. Interested by these bats. That could be pretty cool. Gimme them bats. I wonder if the bats are affected by hive mind. I wonder if they're like treated as flies. I pr probably not, but I'm intrigued to see if they are. I do like it when rooms like that have a kill switch, but you're just powerful enough to kill the room anyways. Feels good, man. Right, let's keep plowing through. I don't think we need too many more items, to be honest. I think we're actually in a pretty good spot item-wise. I'm just hoping we can navigate reasonably well. As I say that, I go the wrong way. I really do want to get a bit more money here for survival, though. I think being above 50 is really where you want to be. Unfortunately, we lost mapping again. It's the only case I don't want to gain. Every, every, like all the others, I don't really care about that much. Just make, make sure I can still see my items. And make sure I can still see my map. The rest, give me all the cases you want. Oh, here's our boss, at least. Is this not the room? It's not done? Who's over here, then? Aha! <laughs> the hands are actually doing a pretty good job, the charmed hands. I didn't think they'd be that effective, but... Seems to be doing a decent job. Also want to be using turn down to the boss's boss rooms and stuff as well, don't we? Kind of forgot about that. Can you stop sitting on top of that coin, please? Oh, I just... The black hole zoomed it away from me. Look at the amount of fires, oh my god. Oh, dude, we've got this guy making poop slick everywhere. He's our friendly, but... Not super helpful for us right now. Go with that. Why aren't our prices here fluctuating? Interesting. Lump of coal. I mean, okay. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Damn. Nothing really that good there. Right, down we go. Yeah, I do not like this guy creating all the poop slick all over the floors as a friendly. Friendly should not be able to do effects that alter myself in a bad way. Not a huge fan of that. See, why is this room not turned downable either? What's going on with some rooms just not being allowed to be turned down? Turn over, whatever you want to call. It's slightly confusing. I mean, it says it's fine now. But yeah, I don't know what happened with that item room earlier. But at least now we're, we're, we're plugging through. Game hopefully isn't going to crash again. Seems to be with the Epiphany characters is when I get my most crashes, which is weird, because like they're, they're really well-created mods, uh, like characters and stuff. Dude, look at the amount of dips this guy's created. Holy shit, this is an insane. Absolutely insane. Soul of Andromeda there as well. Oop, we got this. Hello, hello. That's a very good item, but we can't pick it up, so it's not super valuable for us. And we proved last time that 10 over doesn't actually do anything. Either. Oh, really? I didn't realize there were spikes in this room. Just ignore them. Just, just walk over them and ignore them. If we walk straight past them, they can't hurt us. Oh my god. I think all the little dips that we're creating drop pennies when they die. I'm just going to bomb out of this room. This guy's not going to give it up, is he? Oh, literally did right as the bomb exploded. We've not had a key this entire run. Um, Pace of play has been very, very good to us. We've had to spend so much money on keys so far if we hadn't have uh, had pay to play. Dude, this poop slick. You're the worst piece of shit. Literally.
I don't even know what's mine and what's not anymore, because some of these charmed enemies aren't going, like, see-through. Like, like, like they should be. Oh, how are we going the wrong way again, though? Ooh, we got one of those laser eyes, though. Having one of those laser eyes on our team is pretty awesome. I like that. Because that'll always stay near the door, so it's unlikely to die super easily. And it can just shoot at enemies from across the room. Pretty goddamn good. I'm gonna do some gnarly damage to our bosses. Right. This should be boss just up here. I say that, and it's still a ton of rooms away. Leave it be, little fellas. Leave it be. Oh my god, there's so many rooms! What is going on? There you go, finally. Did we just get another laser eye? And still the hand scares me every time. Okay, no, we just got a Viz. I mean, the Viz is still pretty goddamn good, though. Mum's hand on Mum's heart. Hell yes, goddamn. The power we've got going on right now, and then Juno on top of that is beautiful. Also, as well, I'm still surprised that there isn't, like, a mod that makes it so that um, charmed enemies don't just constantly fire at you when you're not in combat rooms. Like, why do they, why do they still see you as an enemy? That's something I've always found weird about Isaac. Yeah, I do wonder with that saving idea I was talking about, like, is, is it not being done just because people haven't sort of put the time in to figure it out? Or is it not being done because it's just genuinely impossible? There's a, there's a decent chance it's just not being done because it's genuinely impossible. I don't know what's going on right now. Okay, he's finally dead. The poopy guy is dead. No more fucking slippy poop literally everywhere. We hate that stuff. Of course you give me an item now when I can't goddamn take an item. Oh, we did get this though. Hello. Wasn't expecting this. Lovely stuff. Right. Isaac Boss, where art thou? Freezeth everything, laser eye. What an interesting room there with those goats. The religious bond. That's what the, that room was called. I kind of like the idea. But it's some really creative room designs for some of the enemies from Fiendfolia. And obviously still with Fiendfolia, I've been using it for a long time now, but there's still tons and tons of rooms we haven't seen. Ever. Like, there's so many rooms in Fiendfolia. There'll be absolutely tons we haven't seen. Oh, I kind of forgot I need to, uh... Pick up quite a lot of money here to make up for the money that I just spent. Otherwise, I'm going to die a pretty swift death. Let's try and get up to our next HP bar. Okay, we're going to have a bit of a tough time on Isaac here. But the good thing is, we do have, uh, what's it called here? Um, I mean, Penny's coming out of his ass is pretty good. But we do have um, Holy Mantle. From blanket. Also, that's gonna give us a good amount of HP there, lovely. God damn. How is it this many fires? It's so many fires. The destroyer shots as well, so like he, he basically can't shoot. We like that. We like that. They don't last too long, though. But they fill the room pretty quick. There you go. Nice and easy. Last floor. I don't know what we do with our golden chests on this floor, actually. Like, I don't know if we can take the items from them or if they just turn into money. They do just turn into money. Good to know. So I think we can actually use this room to gain items, then. Warm. 
Okay, we can get items there, but not as many as I was hoping. But put in quite a lot of money to get any money out of it. Golden bombs here, though, is kind of interesting. We've got a few bomb upgrades, so I don't mind that. Battery bombs there. Kind of interesting. A little shock. Well, we got BLs above now, didn't we? That's pretty good. Oop, Fiend Folio error. Scary. I don't know what's going on right now with these enemies. Are these all all alive or one of them's charmed? I don't know which one's which. I don't know who's who. Okay, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of sketchy. Oh, we got little little Miss Fall here. Yeah, this character's been a lot of fun. I'll definitely revisit this guy a bit more often. I think he's one of the um, Epiphany characters that I really do quite enjoy. Like I said, he's just like the next evolution of Keeper, which is really what I feel like a lot of the Tarnished characters should be. And a lot of the, like, some of them kind of aren't. Like, one one of the examples of one of them that I'm really, really not a huge fan of is um, Tarnish Judas. I think Tarnish Judas is just, like, basically like an entirely new character that has almost nothing to do with Judas. Uh, it, like, at least in terms of the gameplay of the, of the original two characters. Like, I find, I find Tarnish Judas to be a really, really strange one. Um, and also, I find her a bit, a bit clunky to play as well, to be honest. Tanish Isaac I like decently. Tanish Maggie I'm not a massive fan of. Tanish Eden's decent enough. But what is going on here? My god, there's so many frozen things. Unfortunately, we went the wrong way here, so we have to go back. Our bats are doing a good job. I don't want the football, to be honest. I just spammed the hell out of that to see what I could get, but... Apparently not not an awful lot. Not an awful lot. It's Dad's key. Although we got a red key rather than a... that That's definitely a troll room. What do you mean I'm colorblind? Yeah, that definitely all, always spawns Dad's key. And it's just a troll room. Because it gave you a red key with a green barrier. That's just evil. <laughs> What's more evil about that is that, is that that's now taken Dad's key out of the pool, I think. Actually, to be fair, I don't know how that works, to be honest. Like, obviously, if, you, if you've if you seen an item, it takes it out of the pool. It means you can't see it again. But if the item is force-spawned like that, where it's always going to be Dad's key, I don't actually know if it then takes it out of the pool because it's a force-spawn. I don't know how that works. I'm not entirely sure. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we went the wrong way every single time here, of course. Good old profit there. Another luck penny. It was a nine luck, goddamn. I like the way it was just, just waltz into rooms like this. Okay, I think we've got enough stats now. Let's just hope we go. Oh my god, with this much luck. With this much luck, the fires. What the hell? I think I think 10 luck is just a fire with every shot. I am literally just a fucking flamethrower now. What the hell? They literally can't shoot me. I have because I, I'm surprised it's not doing more damage to be honest. Like these, these things aren't dying as quickly, quickly as I would have thought. <laughs> this is wild. I didn't know you could get to this point. Peppermint, you beast. We do love a, the peppermint. It's glorious, my god! It's glorious. Okay, boss time. Again, he, he basically can't shoot us with this much fire, so we don't have to worry too much. Apart from him walking into me, which I do have to worry about. Don't know why I just let that happen. 
This still isn't going to be the quickest kill ever, though. Because the fires don't actually seem to do that much damage. But, like, this is getting a bit laggy. The room has become just white hot. White, white hot. <laughs> My god. I'm dropping bombs where I can, but I don't know if they're doing much. Oh, bollocks. I must have just hit myself with a bomb there, I'm pretty sure. Okay, last stage. They are doing good damage when they do hit. It's just not super reliable that they do hit. I don't even know what just happened there. Him being frozen is actually not good because I can't predict his attacks at all. This attack is a bit of a pain when he's frozen. How are you not taking more damage to these fires, my guy? They're everywhere. They, en they envelop your entire soul. Please take damage to them. Either way, I think we're easy breezy. We're done. Hope you guys did enjoy. A rather fun run indeed. And we'll be looking at more of the Tanish characters coming up soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.